Hello YouTube, Vlogger Nerex Rants here, and this week my video is about the wave of strikes that have struck a bunch of channels since around the time of VidCon, and all except one channel have been part of the Skeptic community. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So the first YouTuber to be hit was Sevi Rose. Never heard of her, but she got DMCA'd. Don't know who by. What was her crime? making a shit post of someone's content. According to Liz, this content fell under fair use. I don't know personally. I've never seen her content, so I don't know. Best time I've ever heard about Sevi. At least this one has a happy ending, as she did get the strike removed eventually. Sevi's channel style is kind of in the same vein as the Drunken Peasants. She's a live streamer, so even one strike basically ends her channel for that time period. I don't know what for, but it might be shitpost related. It wouldn't surprise me. Next, we move on to Jeff Holiday. I saw that he got two strikes about a week ago. One of those two strikes has since been removed, but he still has one left over. Who was the one who striked him? Why the witch Riley Dennis, of course. Now, to be fair, Jeff did misgender Riley, as Blair did about a year ago. Uh, but... Really, this was because nobody knew that Riley was actually transitioning. Everybody thought she was one of the trans trenders that give actual transgender people a bad name. Most likely, Riley complained to YouTube and Jeff Holiday got a community guidelines strike. And this has forced him onto his backup channel, which is linked in the description. Yes, I did basically copy Liz Reptile's description section and change like two things and make it part of my own. The other strike was the one that was removed. I've forgotten her name, the one who did it, but it's the wash your ass woman. Can't remember her name. She gave a false CMCA on Jeff Holiday for a video Jeff made talking about her. Yeah, pretty fucked up, but at least that was resolved. Not so lucky, Bunty King. His channel got taken down after getting hit with as many as five DMCA takedown notices by that same woman. And of course, Bunty was angry. Very angry. Don't worry, his channel is back up now. Though for how long, I don't know. Oh, and that same woman from Jeff Holiday Strike and the one who took down Bunty King's channel also got Bunty's Twitter banned. Yeah, she's an e pretty evil, isn't she? And then another channel went down. Anthony Fantano's channel. For what he said is the third time. Now, all of his channels are back up as well. That's good. Again, that's probably only because he's another big YouTuber, so he's got the connections to get the channels back up. And then we have Honey Badger Radio, and this is particularly fucked up, considering the horrible situation that one of their members has found himself in. This one is for a four-year-old stream about Elliot Roger, which apparently was inappropriate for baby-friendly YouTube. So, as a result, they have to stream on their backup channel, Karen Straugen. This doesn't even give a reason why their channel was hit with the strike. The very existence of the video probably was enough to get the strike. Unfortunately, one of their members, Brian Martinez, is suffering from testicular cancer. And so, they need the money desperately to pay for radiotherapy and follow-up treatments. Which, considering he's already down a testicle, means he's probably going to wind up completely sterile. And of course, with this time for treatment, he needs sick leave, and right now they need the money to pay for it. And then we have the shitlord YouTuber who still doesn't have his channel back, V. He got his channel taken down by YouTube itself. A whole bunch of community guidelines strikes was the reason. Not even DMCA's. YouTube itself decided, we hate V, so we're going to take him out. Permanently. One video that got taken down was about Islam. Uh, another one was about a shooter who was claiming he was a trans ghost. And the strike that took down his video, that took down his channel I mean, was the mocking of the Russian Deadpool killer. This has got fairly big implications honestly because Sargon of a Card was on there, Kraut and T was on there, they both could get hit. Thunderfoot could get hit as he made a couple of videos on it. And even I could get hit. I made a video. Granted, it was on the content of the people responding to them. 
but it's entirely possible. See how bad it gets. And then, of course, Liz Reptile. Oh, she's been hit too. Yes. A YouTube Saints cosplay where Liz said the N-word on the same stream as Jeff Holiday and someone else. I can't remember her name. And this, what though, was due to before VidCon. This was thanks to Heart Progress, a group of pedophiles that want to make raping children legal. They got a lot of information about a lot of YouTubers and stuck a YouTube hero on it to take a video down and to try and take down other videos. There's also something else going on relating to Fantards of Anita and Riley Dennis trying to murder channels because they talk about their senpai, even though Anita is the queen of harassment, as she showed in an earlier video. I'll put that video in the annotations. Now, just before I go, uh, a bit of one for me, personally. Um, you'll remember my video, Milo Alt-Right Spencer Alt-Reich, The Difference. What you don't may not know is that it actually took me three attempts to get that video up. I tried the, to have the article, the clips from Richard Spencer's speech, but uh, both of them got knocked out. I couldn't have it in the video. First time it, my video got blocked, and then the second time that clip got removed. And so I'm like, great, I'm going to have to say what Richard Spencer said, aren't I? <sighs> yeah, that's why I've had to do what I had to do on that video. You can check that out in the annotations too. I don't know if I've actually got a strike. I don't think I do. But it really does suck anyway. It is really annoying. Finally, do you want a bit of irony in this? Remember all of the feminists who were calling for censorship and who were abusing the DMCA system to take down ch people's channels for disagreeing with them? Well, do you also remember the woman I mentioned earlier who struck Jeff Holliday and struck down Bounty King? Well, a bit of karma and irony came back to bite her in the ass because Jeff Holliday and Bounty King fanboys decide, and fangirls decided to go after her channel after she struck their channels and got her channel taken down as well. Oh, the irony. The group that loves to flag people and censor them for disagreeing with them gets censored herself. By the way, Bunty King has condemned these actions, and I do as well. This has happened before, uh, apparently after Tommy flagged Drunken Peasants videos, tried to get their channel taken down. Fan boys and fangirls of the Drunken Peasants went over and started flagging Tommy's videos. Uh, yeah, please don't go around flagging people for doing things to your guys. As much as you may hate that your favourite channels get taken out, don't go over to the people who flag them in exact revenge. It just makes us look as bad as them. Everybody needs to support each other right now. Hopefully V's primary channel comes back, but honestly, considering they're all community guideline strikes, I'd say his channel's gone for good. So, that is my video for this week. I hope you found it interesting. Please rate, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a great day, everyone.